When you think of a pig, do you picture a pink, docile pig in a pen? Right? Forget that image immediately, because about 23 million years ago, there was a colossal creature, a distant ancestor of modern pigs, large and fierce enough to crush an Akita dog in a single bite. I'm talking about Deodon, nicknamed Hell Pig, or Buffalo Pig, a carnivorous, omnivorous machine that once roamed early Miocene North America. You think dinosaurs were the pinnacle of terrifying? Then you've never met the Deodon Hell Pig. Get ready because this creature will make you reevaluate everything you once believed about pigs being gentle. The first traces of this giant creature were discovered in North America, in ancient geological strata in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, dating back approximately 23 to 20 million years ago to the early Miocene epoch. From giant skull fragments and teeth, paleontologists recognized this as an unprecedented ungulate, with a head nearly one-third the size of its body and jaws capable of crushing bone. It was named Deodon Shoshonensis, meaning terrible tooth, a name that perfectly describes the creature that once dominated the ancient plains. Analysis showed that Diodon was the last and largest member of the Entelodontidae family, a group of omnivorous mammals that dominated Earth from the Eocene to the early Miocene true hell pigs. Although it resembled a pig, Deodon was more closely related to hippos and whales, all belonging to the order Artiodactyla, the even-toed ungulate group that includes modern cows, deer, camels, and whales. Before Deodon appeared, distant relatives such as Entelodon magnus in Europe and Archaeotherium in North America ushered in the era of demon pigs. Adapting to all climatic changes, these creatures could eat meat, scavenge, and even cannibalize their own kind to survive. And by the early Miocene, Deodon became the final pinnacle of its lineage, a giant, intelligent, and brutal omnivorous machine, the last phantom of the hell pig species. Overall, Deodon was truly a giant of the early Miocene mammalian world. It stood nearly 1.7 meters tall at the shoulder, measured over 4 meters from snout to tail, and weighed up to 750 kegners, comparable to a mature bison. Its head accounted for nearly a quarter of its total body length, distinguished by expanded cheekbone plates that paleontologists call jugal flanges. Below the jaw, we also see small bony tubercles, mandibular tubercles, which further enhanced its fierce appearance and helped its jaw withstand tremendous biting forces. But the most terrifying aspect, and also the key to Deodon's dominance, lay in its dentition. This dentition was extremely unique comprising four different types of teeth in the same jaw, evidence of their characteristic omnivorous diet. First were the sharp, slightly forward-pointing incisors, resembling hooks, which helped it bite and firmly hold prey, preventing escape. Next were the large dagger-sharp canines, sometimes with serrated edges, powerful enough to pierce and tear the flesh of prey. Then came the blade-like premolars, an efficient tool for cutting raw meat, like a natural slicing machine. And deep inside, the broad molars with low-cusped chewing surfaces had evolved to crush everything, from hard bones, roots, to perhaps the head of an unfortunate conspecific. A true omnivore, Deodon did not overlook any source of nutrition, whether animal plant, or its own kind. 
What made Deodon truly terrifying was not just its enormous size, but how its entire body operated like a perfect hunting machine. Its thick neck, broad shoulders, and extremely powerful jaw muscles allowed it to rip off chunks of flesh, shaking its prey violently until bones cracked. Its versatile teeth, from incisors, canines, to molars, worked in harmony, enabling Deodon to bite, tear, and crush almost anything it encountered. Behaviorally, it was a typical opportunist. Deodon could stalk in the tall grass to attack a weak horse, but it also wouldn't hesitate to muscle in on another's meal. Just one roar, one headbutt as heavy as a sledgehammer, and the feast immediately belonged to it. Its supersensitive sense of smell helped Deodon track the scent of carcasses from afar, making it both a hunter and the most fearsome scavenger of the Miocene. Traces on fossilized bones show that they ate meat, plants, bones, and sometimes even their own kind. Deodon's world was the hot, dry plains of the early Miocene, where grass grew sparsely, interspersed with clumps of shrubs and open forests. There, it shared its territory with Merikippus horses, Monocorus rhinos, small camels, and even carnivores like Amphicion. But in most encounters, Deodon was the victor, thanks to its strength, tenacity, and ruthless ferocity. However, what helped it dominate was also what led to its downfall. After tens of millions of years of dominance, the family Entelodontidae, of which Deodon was the last, gradually disappeared from Earth. The cause was not a single catastrophe, but a slow yet irreversible series of changes. As Earth entered deep into the Miocene epoch, the climate became drier and colder, Dense forests, the environment that once nurtured Deodon's ancestors, were replaced by arid grasslands, where food sources were scattered and scarce. At the same time, new predators, such as prehistoric dogs, primitive canidae, saber-toothed cats, nimravidae, and even bear dogs, amphicionidae, began to dominate the ecosystem. They were faster, smarter, had coordinated tactics, and hunted in packs, something Deodon never possessed. These giant omnivores now became anachronistic ghosts, no longer having enough food to sustain their massive bodies, and not flexible enough to avoid new threats. Finally, about 20 million years ago, Deodon disappeared from the fossil record, closing the last chapter of the Intelodon species. But even though it is extinct, its image, the massive head, deep-set eyes and toothy grin, continues to haunt scientists for centuries thereafter. We have just traveled back in time together, witnessing the rise and fall of Deodon, the most formidable predator of the Miocene epoch. Every fossil, every remaining tooth mark, is a reminder that Earth once belonged to creatures so extraordinary, they are almost unbelievable. If you want to continue your journey exploring prehistoric beats forgotten by time, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you don't miss the next expedition.